everybody, welcome back to Read Your Eyes. It's our second birthday today. Um, today we're going to be reading The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales by John Sheska and Lane Smith. I have found a kernel of wheat, said the little red hen. Now who will help me plant this wheat? Where is that lazy dog? Where is that lazy cat? Where is that lazy mouse? Wait a minute, hold everything. You can't tell your story right here. This is the end paper. The book hasn't even started yet. Who are you? Will you help me plant the wheat? I'm Jack, the narrator, and no, I can't help you plant the wheat. I'm a very busy guy trying to put a book together. Now why don't you disappear for a few pages? I'll call you when I need you. But who will help me tell my story? Who will help me draw a picture of the wheat? Who will help me spell the wheat? Listen, hen, forget the wheat. Here comes a title page. Title page for the stink cheese for the stinky cheese man and other fairly stupid tales. I know, I know, the page is upside down. I meant to do that. Whoever looks whoever looks at that dedication stuff anyway, if you really want to read it, you can always stand on your head. It says this book is dedicated to our close personal special friend. Your name here, J S and L S. Introduction. A long time ago, people used to tell magical stories of wonder and enchantment. Those stories were called fairy tales. Those stories are not in this book. The stories in this book are almost fairy tales, but not quite. The stories in this book are fairly stupid tales. I mean, what else would you call a story like Goldilocks and the Three Elephants? This girl walking through the woods smells peanut porridge cooking. She decides to break into the elephant's house, eat the porridge, sit in the chairs, and sleep in the beds. But when she gets in the house, she can't climb up on baby elephant's chair because it's too big. She can't climb up on mom elephant's chair because it's much too big. And she clam and she can't climb up on papa elephant's chair because it's much, much too big. So she goes home. The end. And if you don't think that's fairly stupid, you should read Little Red Running Shorts or maybe The Stinky Cheese Man. In fact, you should definitely go read the stories now because the rest of this introduction just kind of goes on and on and doesn't really say anything. I stuck it on to the end here so it would fill up the page and make it look like I really knew what I was talking about. So stop now. I mean it. Quit reading. Turn the page. If you read this last sentence, it won't tell you anything. Jack, Up the Hill, Fairy Tale Forest. Once upon a time, Chicken Lickin was standing around when a piece of something fell on her head. She wasn't the brightest little thing on two legs, so she started running around in circles, clucking. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! We must tell the president! Chicken Lickin ran to her friend Ducky Lucky and clucked, Ducky Lucky! Ducky Lucky! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! We must tell the president! Let's go! quacked Lucky Ducky. Chicken Lickin and Lucky Ducky, Ducky Lucky, ran to their friend Goosey Lucy and yelled, Goosey Lucy, Goosey Lucy, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Let's go, honked Goosey Lucy. Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy ran to their friend Cocky Lucky and yelled, Cocky Lucky, Cocky Lucky, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Let's go, crowed Cocky Locky. Wait a minute, wait a minute, cried Jack the narrator. I forgot the table of contents. I forgot the table of contents. Hey, you're not in this story, said Chicken Licken. I know, said Jack the narrator, but I came to warn you. The table of contents is, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, clucked Chicken Licken. We must tell the president. So Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky ignored Jack the narrator and ran off to catch a plane to Washington. Just outside the airport, they met Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president, yelled Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky. Well, come with me, said Foxy Loxy, I know a shortcut to the airport. Foxy Loxy led Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky to his cave. He didn't get to eat them, though, because Chicken Lickin was almost right. The sky wasn't falling. The table of contents was, it, squat, it fell and squashed everybody. The end. Table of contents, Chicken Lickin, the princess and the bowling ball, the really ugly duckling, the other frog prince, little red running shorts, 
Jack's bean problem, Cinder Rumpelstiltskin, the tortoise and the hare, the stinky cheese man. And in the next video, we're going to be reading The Princess and the Bowling Ball.